Adventurous kids explore with education and learning what a wildlife is in the Everglades. I want to explore the museum of discovering science. What plants do butterflies like? I want to know about Key West. Adventurous kids learning and fun. Adventurous kids! Today I'm going to tell you about Earth's atmosphere. The atmosphere is the layer of gas that surrounds Earth. It is often called air. Other planets and some of their larger moons also have atmospheres. Earth's atmosphere is held in place by Earth's gravity. The atmosphere is made up of mostly nitrogen, 78%, and oxygen 21%. There are lots of other gases that are part of the atmosphere, but in much smaller amounts. These include argon, carbon dioxide, neon, helium, hydrogen, and more. Oxygen is needed by animals to breathe, and carbon dioxide is used by plants for photosynthesis. Solid particles, including ash, dust, volcanic gas, etc., are small parts of atmosphere. They are important in making clouds and fog. Scientists divide the atmosphere into five regions or layers. Troposphere. The troposphere is the layer next to the ground or surface of the Earth. It extends up to about six miles above Earth's surface. This is where we live and even where planes fly. Around 80% of the mass of the atmosphere is in the troposphere. The troposphere is heated by the surface of the Earth. Most of Earth's weather, including the wind and most clouds, exist in the troposphere. Stratosphere. The stratosphere extends for the next 32 miles after the troposphere. The ozone layer is in the stratosphere. Unlike the troposphere, the stratosphere gets its heat by the ozone layer, absorbing radiation from the sun. As a result, it gets warmer the further away you get from the Earth. Here is little water vapor and other substances in this layer. Weather balloons go as high as the stratosphere. Mesosphere. The mesosphere covers the next 50 miles beyond the stratosphere. This is where most meteors burn up upon entry. Winds in this layer are strong, so the temperature is not stable. This layer of the atmosphere is very cold, about negative 180 degrees Fahrenheit. The coldest place on Earth is at the top of the mesosphere. Thermosphere. The thermosphere is next, and the air is very thin here. Temperatures can get extremely hot in the thermosphere. Thermo means heat. Now the temperature in this layer can reach up to 4,500 degrees Fahrenheit. This layer is very important in radio communication because it helps to reflect some radio waves. The Space Shuttle and the International Space Station both orbit Earth within the thermosphere. The Earth's thermosphere also includes the ionosphere, a region of the atmosphere that's filled with charged particles. The northern lights are formed in the ionosphere of the thermosphere due to high ions activities. Exosphere. The last layer at the thinnest is the exosphere. This layer ends where Earth's gravity is too weak to prevent particles of gas from drifting into space. It gradually fades into the vacuum of space. Solar winds compress it and push it down. When the winds are still, this layer can extend more than 6,000 miles into space. The atmosphere is very important to life on Earth and does many things to help protect life and help life to survive. The atmosphere protects Earth like a big blanket of insulation. It absorbs the heat from the sun and keeps the heat inside the atmosphere, helping the Earth to stay warm called the greenhouse effect. It also keeps the overall temperature of the Earth fairly steady, especially between night and day, so we don't get too cold at night and too hot during the day. This big blanket also helps to form our weather patterns and climate. The weather keeps too much hot air from forming in one place and causes storms and rainfall. All of these things are important to life and the Earth's ecology. Thanks for watching this Adventurous Kids episode. Did you learn today? Adventurous kids. Adventurous kids. What was the most interesting fact? Adventurous kids.
Adventure is kids. 